Um, it's good to see so many faces. Oh gosh, this is wonderful. I wish we were in person. I'm sure that's what everybody is saying, but I really mean it. Um, so I'm just going to go through the books that I have out. Again, I'm a picture book author. And this was my first baby. It was my debut book called This Book is Spineless, illustrated by Alice Brereton. I know, right? Play on words. Love it. And it's about a book that is afraid of the story that might be on its pages. So definitely kind of dives into anxiety and worry. Um, and so what I think is so great about this book is that it's layered. There are opportunities to talk to kids about book genres because it's wondering, is this a mystery? Is this a story about animals? Um, let me get you one of the pages. So for example, the mystery page. Um, it also talks about parts of the book um, physically, like the back cover, the spine. It, offers up an opportunity to have those kind of discussions. So super layered and oh, it has the five senses in here. So pretty cool. All right, so that is my first baby. My second baby is Nova the Star Eater. This is my sci-fi romp. It's uh, informational fiction illustrated by John Taisu Kim. And it's about Nova who loves to eat stars. So oh, she eats them all up. And then one day she slurps up the sun and the people on earth are like, what? So this little girl may just have the wackadoodle answer to get it back. So welcome to my brain. It's a wackadoodle brain. Um, <laughs> but there's some really, really great illustrations for conversations about stars um, and about the solar system. See in here. And then um, also this offers up a great uh, way to have a conversation about the sun's importance to the earth. And if we did not have the sun, what would the earth be like? Well, you know the answer to that. So there's that one. Now let me scoot back here and grab my only copy of Dusk Explorers. This sweetie came out June of 2020. So um, right in the midst of the beginning of the pandemic. Um, this book is illustrated by Ellen Rooney and it is my heart on a plate about my childhood. Um, you know those long summers and once you have your dinner with your family and you head outside to go play with all your neighborhood friends and you're chasing fireflies and catching toads and playing leapfrog. Well, that is an ode to that time. And also to me, it was a call to the children of now and to the parents of now that the outdoors is a respite for us all and we should go outside and enjoy it and get off of our devices. So um, that is why I wrote this book. And I have to share with you this beautiful spread that Ellen did. It knocks me over every single time I see it. It's gorgeous. So this book uh, received a star from Kirkus um, and a feature, which was really wonderful. And then my final book is coming out August, not my final book. I should not say that. The last book I have to offer today um, it's coming out August 1st with Capstone, and it's, so you want to build a library. <laughs> this is such a fun one. I enjoyed the heck out of writing this. Um, and my inspiration for it was based on a conversation I had with my son's third grade classmates. And this was a couple of years ago. So their school is currently being completely renovated, overhauled. And before that process started, all the, you know, the designers and the architects called in each classroom to ask them about various parts of the school and what they would do with those parts of the school. So for instance, they asked my son's third grade class, if you could build a library, what would you put in it? So this one kid, who's a friend of my son, raised his hand and said, a hot tub. Like, of course you said a hot tub because you're a third grader and that's awesome. So this story is meeting kids where they're at with their imaginations and how their library would look and encourages them to design their own. Um, and this is what I think about libraries. I think of them as places for imaginations. There are no limits in the fictional work. There's no limits of the knowledge you can gain in the nonfiction work. So it's kind of my ode to a library. <laughs>